Hi, this is Marissa from Atio, and in this video we're going to run through the different report types that are available and when you might use them. Atio's reporting tool allows you to create reports and group them into dashboards so that you can visually display your team's performance, your pipeline health or the state of your business. This gives you an accessible and clear overview of your business to enable informed decision making for you and your teams. There are five report types in Atio. The ones that you have access to will depend on which plan you're on. We'll run through them now one at a time and we'll go into more detail and show additional examples in later videos. Insight report is the most flexible report type and is likely the type that you will use the most in your dashboards. It shows you the current state of your business, meaning that it reflects your data as it is at the time that you're viewing the report. It gives you the most flexibility when it comes to plotting attributes, as you can choose one to group by and one to segment by. So here I'm reporting on both the stages that my deals are in and their owner. Insight reports that you put any attribute on the x-axis, including any date attributes. So if, for example, you wanted to report on how many deals were added to your sales pipeline on a weekly basis, then you would use an insight report. I have done that in this report here, using the created date as the timestamp attribute to group by, and then selected weekly as the cadence. If I wanted to see the historical composition of my pipeline, not just its current state, then I would use Atio's second report type. Historical reports will show you a series of historical snapshots of your data, so you can see how the makeup of your pipeline has changed over time. So as an example, this report shows the number of deals in each stage of my pipeline at the end of every week during my chosen time period. This differs from Insight Reports, which you can use to display the number of deals that were created in any given month. Another example of historical reports is the total number of customers showing the total number that existed in our CRM at the end of each week. While this does have dates plotted on the x-axis, this is not using a date attribute, but rather is showing a historical snapshot of my data at the end of each period shown. The final three report types are all pipeline reports, which help you to understand the health and trends of the processes that you track in Atio. They're only available for status attributes, which is the type of attribute that you should be using to track your different pipeline stages. Funnel reports show the conversion and drop-off through the statuses of your pipeline through to your target end stage. So I would use one to see the conversion rates or lost to see the loss rates. Time and stage shows the minimum, maximum or average amount of time that records are spending in the different stages of your pipeline. And stage change will show either the number or the value of records that have moved into the different stages. So here I have a stage change report, which only includes the one stage, meaning that this is the number of deals that moved into one in each time period. I can switch the metric here from count records to deal value. And now the report is showing me how much revenue was marked as one. That wraps up this quick overview of Atio's report types and when to use them. You can learn more and see each type in action in our reporting course.